Recipes for Technical Trading Success in Cook's Kitchen. Have you had your chromosomes tested yet? Maybe you have, or maybe you know somebody who's done a, a 23andMe test or an Ancestry.com test to find out your, your lineage, your genealogy. Those are fun to do, uh, very interesting, lots, to, lots of stuff to talk about among friends and family if you so choose. But today I want to focus on the medical grade versions of these tests where uh, individuals and families are finding out what is their predisposition for a particular disease. Um, and this is even being, being done um, on the prenatal level. So there's a lot of exciting companies. Take a look at my screen here that I just threw together uh, uh, in the, my portfolio tracker. I created a new portfolio on Zax.com that I'm calling genomic testing. And I put 10 companies in here that are directly involved uh, in no particular order. And we won't get to talk about them all, but I want to point out some of the big ones. First up, Illumina. Illumina is a $50, uh, $50 billion company that makes um, the, the, the big machines, the hardcore technology. It's, it's really a, uh, it's a, it's a million dollar machine that 23andMe and Ancestry.com and lots of other companies, they send their kits to be tested on these million dollar machines uh, that, that do genetic sequencing. And this is such an exciting area because uh, you know, 10 years ago, it costs, it costs, you know, over a million dollars to sequence a genome. And now it can be done for hundreds of dollars. So it's just amazing what's going on here. Uh, we'll talk about Illumina. Uh, we'll also talk about a, a smaller company that does a lot of business with Illumina, and that's Invite. Uh, and this is real medical grade testing. This is where, uh, in fact, Invite just got selected by uh, United Health is one of seven uh, uh, preferred providers for, for laboratory testing. So that, that's a pretty big deal. So when, uh, if, if your doctor wants you to have some kind of genetic testing to see uh, if it might be related to a condition you have or, they're, or you're just doing, uh, you know, you're just being proactive and looking out ahead at what you might have a predisposition for, um, then that test will go to Invite because Invite, even though they use Illumina technology, um, they have their own advanced diagnostics platform for looking at um, your genome. So, uh, really exciting stuff here. In fact, I did a uh, special report um, where I where I think Invite is a stock that could double. So, in a uh, for our summer five stocks to double report, I did uh, Invite. Now, let's take a look at what I wrote. Take a look at my screen here. NGS, this is what you need to understand, next generation sequencing. That's what these companies are doing. So I call Invite the little Illumina uh, because it's a sub $2 billion stock. Um, and let me just read from the FDA guidance document. In the past decade, the cost of sequencing a whole genome has dropped a thousand fold. And the number of genetic tests has risen to more than 55,000 for over 11,000 conditions. Rapid adoption of NGS technology, next generation sequencing, in medicine has led to the identification and curation of novel genetic variants that promote, that promise to improve diagnostic accuracy and reduce unnecessary healthcare costs. Uh, you can read more about that, but uh, the one of the fascinating things about Invite is that they're on a path to do 500,000 tests in cumulative this year and they want to hit a million tests in 2020. And what they think this is going to do for their business is create a network effect where they have all this patient information. Now, uh, one thing that's been controversial, say, about uh, one of the consumer testing companies, 23andMe or Ancestry, I'm not sure which one, is that they were sharing your information with, uh, with uh, medical researchers, genetic researchers. Now, I. Uh, I don't think Invite, I think Invite has a different policy and what they're trying to do is just create a wealth of information in the network about populations and uh, the propensity for genetic disease. All right, let's look at some of the, uh, let's go to the website here for Illumina. So um, this is a fascinating company. We've owned and traded it several times and uh, 
You know, this is the company that makes the million dollar machine. Uh, I wonder if they have a picture of it here. But this is the one that you want to own. Um, as a matter of fact, we just sold it because uh, we had we made like 60 points on it in a matter of a few months because I I always want to buy it near 300 or under, under 300. We bought it under 300, sold it at 350 this week. And because analyst targets are not that much higher, the, uh, you know, the, the company's growing revenues at about 13 to 14 percent. Um, it's trading like uh, 13 times sales, I think. And so it's sort of reached our target. And we, we made some good money on it. I took profits. I'll, I may live to regret that if this thing soars to 400. Uh, but I still own Invitae. And, and I'll probably buy uh, Illumina again soon. The other thing to know about Illumina is that they are trying to buy a smaller um, competitor called Pacific Biosciences. Uh, symbol is PACB. And yesterday, the UK made a ruling, sort of an antitrust ruling, that they're not sure if they're going to be okay with this uh, acquisition because it could reduce competition. Um, and, that, and that is very possible. So for the bigger player, Illumina, to buy up one of the smaller players, like an Invitae, or, um, or a Pacific Biosciences, could reduce competition. Uh, for Illumina, they were looking at it as, as a complete integration to sort of have, have a stack of genetic testing possibilities. All right, let's look at the Invitae website. Um, there was something interesting I wanted to show you here. Uh, but definitely, oh, there, there's a good, if we go to, um, we won't uh, dive heavily into this now, but if I find the investor page for Invitae, and that's what you should always do with many of these companies, is go to their investor page and find a recent presentation. So here they have a 22 deck, 22 slide deck, um, and some really good stuff in here. Let me see if I can get. Oh, I think I just uh, advanced it too fast before it could load. Um, this this is a deck you should definitely look at. A lot of good stuff in here. Um, here's here's an area that uh, Invite is just going into uh, NIPS, which is. Um, Non-invasive prenatal screening. This is a big new area. And there's another company, uh, uh, Natura, NTRA is a stock symbol. They are specializing in non-invasive non-invasive prenatal screening. And obviously, if the technology is there, uh, families want this. Young couples want it. Uh, couples that already have children may want it. If they're concerned about the possibility of a genetic disease showing up, in their baby, and so this is information people want, um, and you know, so it's not just being proactive about your own health, but about uh, your, your family planning. Uh, so definitely go to the Invite investor page and check out that presentation. Now let's look at Garden Health. This is a company I'm just learning about right now, and they're specializing in detecting cancer, um, and and so. Uh, you may be familiar with another company, Exact Sciences, which specializes in uh, colorectal cancer. Uh, Exact Sciences, the stock symbol is EXAS. Um, another one that the, the, the company has uh, the <laughs> revenues have soared because they're providing the simple uh, take home test um, that many doctors are using to detect rectal cancer. All right. Um, let's go back to my my portfolio that I made here. Just a, I put I threw ten stocks in here. Not that I own these. I, I only own and trade two of them, and that's Illumina and Invite and VTA, um, because I know enough about them. Um, I don't know. I, I feel like I missed Exact Sciences uh, on its on its tremendous run, because I didn't. Uh, I thought there was some some regulatory concerns with their testing, and they overcame that, um, and, and the company's just done fantastic. Uh, so I mentioned Natura, uh, do, also doing non-invasive prenatal screening, um, and I mentioned Pacific Biosciences. Uh, Agilent, let's take a look at Agilent, because you may not think, well, what does Agilent have to do with genomic testing? Here's why I include Agilent, because if you look at the company description here, they're very diverse. 
you know, in, in the sciences. And they have six different business sec segments. Uh, but one of them is in diagnostics, specifically. Um, and so they do stuff in food, uh, pharmaceuticals, chemicals, energy. But in di diagnostics, what's interesting there is that Agilent, as a $23 billion company, might seek to acquire one of these smaller players, like an Invitae or Natura. Uh, another one would be Thermo Fisher, TMO. Uh, they might want to bolt on one of these small genetic platforms um, that are doing some, uh, you know, some proprietary testing that the market really likes. I mean, if you look at Invitae, that's why I bought Invitae. When United Health added them to their preferred uh, laboratory network, I think, I think that's what they call it, PLN, Preferred Laboratory Network. I think that was huge for the stock, and it, it, hasn't, um, it hasn't soared like I thought it would, but it is, has built a nice base uh, above uh, $18 and didn't even try and test its last uh, gap up from $16.50. So uh, good things happening there. That's why I continue to own Invitae uh, and why I will look to get back into Illumina. I think that's all I wanted to cover. Um, Follow me on Zax.com here to learn more about these companies. Uh, just email ultimate at Zax.com if you want a copy of the special report, Five Stocks to Double, where I do like a 12-page a, a dive on Invitae, on their business, and what, what the sales projections could be for that company uh, in what is a very exciting space. All right, thanks for joining me in the kitchen.